Hi, this is Lian Eng from Nonia Licious. I'm just going to do a short video about how to make some sambal belacan. Um, this is the powdered belacan, which is already um, grilled and ready to use. However, sometimes I like to make it a little bit more fragrant. Um, I feel that the more fragrant it is, um, the sambal belacan will become a little bit more tasty. So what I do is, um, that's the pan that I'm heating up at the moment. So I'm just going to, uh, on a medium heat, I'm just going to um, grill the belacan a little bit for probably about, I mean, just a very low fire uh, for about another 30 seconds or so. It's constantly stirring and you could feel the aroma coming out gradually. So just keep flipping and as you see a little bit brownish, darker brown, uh, you can actually, you know, just switch off the fire and let it sit for a while until it cools down. Okay. You can tell probably about 30 seconds, you can tell the aroma. I mean, for me, I like, I'll call it the aroma. I love the smell, but for those, it's actually quite strong the smell is actually not very pleasant so there you go 30 seconds more than enough that's how you add a little bit more flavor to your sambal belacan let it sit for a while let it cool and this is the freshly pounded chili right and you just add the belacan into the fresh chili and stir so it depends on how strong you want the sambal belacan to uh, the sambal belacan to be. That will determine based on the amount of the belacan you add to the sambal. So I hope that answers your questions about how to make uh, add a little bit more aroma to your sambal belacan.